Hi, look, I thought I'd take you a walk through the one note that I'm going to try and use in 2018 with my year 10 class. We're going to focus on a flip learning approach to what we're doing. So I've tried to design the one note in that way. So, okay, walking through the components. Uh, splash page, opening page, basically for the students to see, assessment dates, units, number of lessons, and the planner here. So they can see there's the first term. Okay, we've got a 10 week term, we finish here, there's, we have the two tests, etc. So they can see that, that's the overall planner. Class page, once I get the class list, we'll populate that with a few more details about the students. And again, useful links here, the five useful links for this site, it's Moodle, that's our learning management system, videos, Desmos, and GeoGebra. Um, we base our course on a couple of textbooks here and here, so that's the hyperlinks to the textbooks, and then we'll put the tutorial roster when it's generated. Now, across the top, people are familiar with collaboration content, teacher only. Now, the IWB here, that's my dummy student, uh, because I use um, Mirror Op, so I can throw this Surface Pro up on the big screen, and I use that as a student in the class. That's my dummy student, and I can demonstrate workflows I'd like the students to utilize. So, at the moment, it's not populated with any students, because I don't have a class list yet. We get that in January. So, walk you through the content library. Let's start with the content library. Um, some thoughts there for the students to consider. So we do it term by term. So term one is the one I've written at the moment. So term one consists of three units, algebra, trig and measurement, and algebra two. So it's, it's foundational. So we go through a lot of the routine stuff. However, you'll notice that each of the units is built the same way. Now, each of the students, when, when the class is populated, this will be distributed to all the students. So I'll just come in here and drop it into the topic one. Now, what that allows the students to do, with a little bit of the mastery learning that we're using with the flipped learning approach, the students can see the content and they can work through the resources. And as they're going through the worksheets and they're ready to go, they've completed, they can tick it. There's the flip lesson videos over here. And I'll come and talk about mastery in a minute. Okay, so that's that's for the students. Now, I use, again, with Mirror Up, I use a, a um, screencast software that puts it up on the big board so I can annotate as I go. So these are PowerPoints that I've, I've used previously, but now I use um, with the mirror opping to, to make a little bit more easier for me. I can annotate as I go and the students, the annotations go through all the students' books. Uh, our video channel, come back to that. That's just a collection of all the videos for this unit just in one place, but we've got that a little bit better structured later. The GeoGebra apps that associate with this unit, okay, solving linear equations, solving um, linear inequalities um, and my what I call my lesson boards that's again I'll write on that directly okay it's a little bit of a chalkboard theme there so I'll just expand that page get the yellow pen down and write away like a genius so and there's the associated worksheets with this topic so that's what the students will get and again I'll just distribute each of those pages out to the students as you've seen previously so that's essentially the content library and it's the same for trig, and it's the same for algebra, two, etc. You'll see exactly the same features, exactly the same layout. What we do have here is additional units of work. So for algebra unit one, there's the additional information or additional exercises for students. Okay, sometimes it's a little bit more extended work that I can direct the students to go and have a look. It's just a collection of additional exercises. So that's essentially the content library. Where I've focused a lot of my energy this time around for 2018 is in the teacher only section. Teacher only section, class admin. Now that's just all the paperwork associated with class. Class roles, uh, attendances, tutor attendances, etc., etc. Assessments, works in progress. As I'm working on pieces of assessment, I'll work on them here. Unit outlines. We're changing from a particular, an old style of unit outline, and that's you can see we're working through and changing that as a team. And then we produce out of that we produce this, the new version. So that's just there. Now, here's the three or four key areas, okay, up here. So that's the unit worksheets. You saw them in the content library um, for each unit, and for each unit, there's a solution set as well. So once the students have passed that, I can just right click and again distribute that out to the students. So that's just the worksheets. You'll, you saw them in the content library. Here's where it gets a little bit more fun next year is I'm intending to flip a lot of the direct instruction. So, and I've got a template for that. Okay, so we just make that a little bit larger there. Basically, the students watch the video, okay, and they make the, the notes. What's most important is this section here, questions they still have. Okay, so they take the notes from the video. I'll show you an example in a minute. We used it last year. And underneath, there's two or three questions that the students do immediately after the video, 
and then we can have a look at them and chat about them in class the next day. That's essentially going to be our starting point in class. Okay, or if it's an inflip, they can do the additional questions, check them, and then move on to their worksheets associated with that topic. So each, each, it, as you can see, it's just a template. It's stamped out the same way each time. And again, they get distributed out to the students. Okay, same for unit two on trigonometry, exactly the same way. So that's the flipped lessons within the teacher one note space. Um, mastery. Now you'll see here, each student's going to get this. Once they've finished the worksheets one, two, three on this first topic on algebraic review and done the flip lesson, they can approach me and we can do, they can do the mastery sheet for that unit of work, that 1.1. So we go to the mastery sheets, that's where they've been created. So there's the mastery sheet for 1.1. Eight questions. Um, what I'm going to try and do next year is not mark it per se, but just provide feedback using the insert audio. And I'm going to put that feedback in there. If they've achieved mastery for that particular unit, they'll get a little mastery badge. So I'll just simply copy that out. And if the students achieve mastery, boom, they get the mastery badge there, okay, with my audio feedback. Okay, and again, once they've done that, they can simply then go back to the unit outline. They've ticked that box, they can move on. So I'm trying to get the class to be a little bit more fluid next year with this one note in, it, in terms of they can work to a degree to the pace they're comfortable. I'm not the log jam, I'm not holding them up at the front. So that's in the flip lesson. Sorry, that's the mastery sheets is there. So you'll see I've got resources here. That's just my collection of basically bits and bobs I'm finding that I'm working on, works in progress, things I find from GeoGebra, things I find from Desmos that I wanna have a look at. That's my little space there. That's my work in progress, that's under resources. And then the term review. At the end of the term, we have a review section Okay, preparing them for the practice tests for each of the two tests, the technology free test and the technology assisted test. That's the way our system works at the moment. Okay, we have two papers that the students sit, rightly or wrongly. So that's essentially, most of this work is being done in the teacher only section. And as I said, I'm taking a flipped learning approach to it um, next year, and I'm gonna try and allow the students to have a lot more active learning time in the classroom. So I'm trying to get the DI, the direct instruction, out of the in sense the class space into the individual space and provide them with a, a way to to track that it also will provide me with a way to track it as well by simply using the class notebook reviewing student work i'll be able to see where the students are at it also gives me a little bit more time to be around with the students having those conversations so essentially flip less, uh, for my flip lessons my unit worksheets and my mastery sheets are the three key elements that i'll provide for the students and that's how I'm working with my OneNote next year. Okay, so that's the that's the basic setup of it. Um, and secondly, by the way, that that's also contained in a common content library here for all teachers. Okay, so that's my particular OneNote for that particular class. But we also have a, a 10 Maths B content library, which is common societal for all the teachers to go to, and they can just copy whatever sections they want from here into their personal OneNote. I said earlier, I'll show you some examples of the students working with this. We just jump into here. Um, there was a flip lesson. Okay, so the student here, if I just make it a little bit smaller, you can see the students made some notes down the right hand side here. Okay, come down here, she's had a look and I've made some ink comments there. Uh, that can vary, different girls do different things. Charlotte here, I know from previous history, Charlotte's basically her way of summarizing. She'll take the screenshot of the last, whoops, it's easy, all over the shop. She screenshots the last slide on the light board and then annotates that. So different ways of students doing it. Molly here, great example. This question here was very, very significant because I deliberately, when I was doing exponential functions, I didn't speak about the A value. Didn't talk about the coefficient of A, okay, at all through the whole. I just talked about Y equals B to the power of X. And you can see in the video that A was there and she picked up on that from her notes. She made the appropriate notes here. Okay, but the question she still had at the end was, what the heck was A all about? So that's a rough summary of what I'm doing in, hopefully trying to do in 2018. Okay, based on a flipped learning approach to what we're doing.